This one is using the same jars as before, although but in a slightly different order. And it is really just incorporating baubles and Christmas ornaments in that sense. So where the winter scheme had a few extra little bits popped in here and there, um, this one is literally, other than the jars, is just baubles of different variations. Now, this is what I would class as traditional, years gone by, grandparents' house, grown up as children, and the main colours were always what I think was red, green, and gold. And that is the theme I went with here. Now, obviously, you can use any colour scheme if you have purple and silver, um, blue, blush pinks, things like that. You can do exactly the same um, and just do it however you have around the house. It's just another way to show a different theme, but again, using things you already have. And this is just using everyday baubles. So what I have done here is put in the different jars, all different sizes. So although the fillers are the same and in no way really impactful, it's just a round bauble. There's nothing, a few of them have a bit of glitter on, but there's nothing really amazing or striking about the baubles. I think the fact that they're varying in sizes and then the glasses themselves are either different widths and different heights, it really then makes the impact. So the filler itself isn't really that wow um, and the glasses alone are although lovely and a wow, it's more, I think, the contrast of heights and widths, um, all those different dimensions that really draw you in and make it look a lot more interesting than it probably really is. It's more just that layering effect. So here we have some bigger baubles in the taller glasses here. Um, the wider ones again, big baubles. We have another one full of acorns um, just here. But then on the front, the stack one that we spoke about in the last tablescape from um, Home Bargains, that's got little baubles in. And this one just down the front, again, just small little baubles. Um, these ones here, are a bigger bauble, well, a medium sized bauble, and these are just these again old ones. These are from childhood, and um, these are actually my mother's. And they're just like paper mache ones, and you know, where paper pictures of Santa and children and music and sheets um, are all on there, and that's just in there. So, again, it's in the same color theme, but it's just a slightly different variation rather than just an old red bauble, which has got those colors within it. I have kept from the winter scene this particular jar here with the fake snow in, the little car, um, the little people playing a snowball fight. That's been kept in because it was similar colours and it just makes them a little bit fun. This one over here again still has all those larger twigs in um, that I said people, a lot of people have laying around the home. This time though I've swapped up with gold rather than silver and I've added in these red berry picks. Um, again, you can get these in lots of shops, craft shops online, uh, just with fruit frosted red berries mixed in there with the gold. So the jars themselves, as I said, haven't really got much in it other than baubles. There's not really much to explain in this one. I've added these two candelabra, which weren't in the last one, um, or candlesticks, should I say, and they're just glass to go in with the rest of the glass. I have two garlands, one along the back as a filler and this one along the front as you can see. These are really bushy and they already come pre-decorated. So all these berries, there's pine cones within this, um, there's a few twiglets and there's already clumps of baubles built into it. They're already on there, pre-done, all you have to do is fluff it up, uh, make it a little bit wider, a bit more um, thicker. There's also a mixture of your typical artificial stems, but then in there they also have real wood. I'll do a little zoom in because you probably won't be able to see, like real fern tree um, as well. So it's a mix of both, which again adds a lot of texture and depth um, and makes it look a lot more realistic. These are from the range and they are in stock uh, this year. They've also been in stock for the past few years. So again, it could be something you've already picked up over the years. But I have a lot of these in my home around banisters, doorways, on the mantelpieces. Um, and we've been these ones from the range because they are really quite good. And a lot of them you buy and look good in the pictures or in the store when they're set up. And then you take them home and you get it out and you unfold it. And it's like three sticks, you know, when they say on that one. And it um, looks a bit naff, doesn't it? 
and I think like, like they always do the trick you do and it's all lighting or put three together and twist it around and you think oh that's amazing you get your own and it's rubbish so these ones are actually quite good and I use them year in year out um, I've used these big baubles just a nice large bauble in the colour scheme let me put that back down just to fill in these gaps um, I stuck this star on the table because I think it's absolutely gorgeous it's actually a tree topper um, and it's glittered and mirrored and I just went in with the colour scheme and I really, I really liked it I thought I have to have that and just stick it somewhere do something with it I have a nutcracker over here just a little wooden nutcracker he is six pound and he was from B&M um, same colour scheme again traditional wooden toy um, nothing more really to say about that a little gold bell a giant gold bell there you can hang from the ceiling from a chandelier from a doorway but again i just use it as a filler on this table and at the end i have two separate little reindeer these are in all the shops i've seen them in the pound shop being in the range um home bargains they're in all different colors this year i have literally seen them in silver white and gold normal colors then green red i've seen them in pink baby blue i've seen them purple i've seen them where they're frosted and i've seen them where they have loads of diamond tears on them so in the last scheme in the winter scheme you would have saw the winter one land could have been this corner i think it was still this corner of the table there was a pink one with loads of going right down the back and through the tail loads of sequins and diamond tears um so this is exactly the same only this is like a felt like a velvety felt a little green man here um emerald forest green and we have a red one there it's just like a little mummy and baby baby set so these are extra things you can use really anything you have things that you might have out all year round um, little, and a lot of people have little wicker animals and things like that just by the fireplace um, or use just door stops anything and everything really you can incorporate into these things so things like that you could have out anywhere um, and i've just popped them in just as these little fillers just to fill the gaps in and just to bring a bit more interest so i will be zooming in just now for you um, to show you this main centerpiece of this scheme so this is the main centerpiece and as i said all this table scape, I thought I'd focus in on what the real meaning of Christmas was, um, so we will go traditional. So here I have used this cake stand that I used before. It has the little angel on the top who obviously guides the wise men and the shepherds. And let me just wiggle this up. Okay. So what we've done with this was we took those snowballs out from the Winter Wonderland scheme, we put some straw in and then we put a few figurines in. Um, we did originally use the full nativity but it was quite big and bulky, it took up a lot more space on the table so we thought why not put it into a scene, a bit like the Christmas one in the Winter Wonderland. Um, and we put these little figures in. So in the middle we have baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph, the three wise men, the shepherds and a few little animals. And this was really in thinking of um, tradition and what I was thinking was traditional and I went with those three main colours and then I was thinking what else really is tradition and what you think of when you think of Christmas has gone by and, and I thought what more than the real meaning of Christmas and although you may not be religious, not everyone is, or even if you are this may not be your God that you believe in, but I think regardless of that it really brings to mind um, the undertone of Christmas and what it's really about and yes we go all out each and every year we buy gifts and um, there's all this excitement and buzz around Christmas but when you think about it it's really about family and friends and coming together spending that time really counting your blessings and um, being thankful for what you have what what you've been through and what the year ahead has to come up with and this kind of ties everything, all these different things that we think about into one main focus of it's a special day, it was the birth of Christ and it, it just brings you into that thoughtful meaning and so that we thought that this would be a great centrepiece to the table and, um, and from there we can build out on other things. So this is what we've done here. There we go. 
So it just shows you a different way as well of setting things up. You don't have to be in a certain way. You can set things up in a completely different, different way to what you were thinking outside the box. So this is the traditional tablescape for these apothecary jars. And I will switch up everything over again and we're going to look like this.